in the future. Amen. Well, thank you, Toy. I appreciate it. And hey, that's a word pushing y'all to the limit. Cause listen, it pushed me to the limit too. And and I'm just so glad that you guys are receiving it, you know, the way that you do. Um, well, I want to say good morning and welcome to Breakfast of Champions, everyone. Uh, y'all, I, I you, you know, I go back and listen to all of the replays. And um, I go out and I listen to everybody introducing themselves. I'm the only one that want to introduce myself out there. So I'm going to learn how to be obedient and do a little better. But uh, for those of you that may be listening out there, my name is Marilyn Pettigrew. I am the founder of uh, this ministry here. And uh, I, I have to say it's been an honor, you know, being able to share with you guys from my heart, you know, what God has done in my you know, I, I call it my small world over here. And uh, one of the things that I have uh, definitely um, uh, taken to heart, you know, is that oftentimes, you know, people won't always share with you, you know, uh, what God is doing in their lives, how he's doing it, and and definitely don't add you to the party, you know, with things. But I'm so grateful that I, I took the word of God you know, and begin to not only just apply it to my life, but to share it with others. There's very seldom a time, y'all, that I get something and I don't share it. You know, I just don't believe that God just gave it to me, you know, and I know the areas that I have struggled in, you know, when I didn't have someone to come in, you know, teach me something. Um, I always wanted to make that available to other people. I also wanted to um, um, teach people about the grace of God, too. And because I don't think everybody know their covenant rights, you know, uh, because we live in a world, uh, you know, to where, you know, the the gospel has been preached in such a way. Uh, sometimes it, it makes you feel like brimstones and fire that you can't do nothing wrong. And, you know, God's going to punish you for everything. But that's that's not what the word of God says. Uh, the Bible says that he will always leave a way of escape for us, you know. And there's a thing called repentance. Uh, I'm, I believe that when you know better, you do better. And the Lord honors those things. So I think it was just in my heart, you know, just to come and share with y'all. You, listen, you can do anything that anything that God places on your heart to do. He can set you free. You know, he can rebuild your life. You know, he can give you a plan, even at 50, 60, 70 years old. You know, I don't care what you messed up on. You know, that. listen, when you go back with a heart of repentance, the Lord could come in and wipe the slate clean like you didn't do nothing. You know, don't ever let man put a word on you and make you think that, you know, your life is over because of uh, this or that, because I'm a living testimony that is not true. You know, so I, I think that my heart was just so big and once I learned that about God, I said, Lord, I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm going to be like that woman. <laughs> so I'm going to tell everybody. They lied. You are a forgiving God. You are a nurturing God. You are a right now God. You know, I messed up. That ain't the end of the story. Let me go in and, and share with these people about your covenant word and see what it says. So I think that's the mission that I have been on and I probably will be on until the day I leave this earth. You know, I want to tell you what the word of God says. The word of God is right. These folks are wrong about what they say. You know, his grace is sufficient, y'all. So uh, that that's my story and I'm sticking it to it. Anybody can fight me against it. If they can fight me with it if they want to, but you, you're going to be fighting the word of God. You're not going to be fighting me. So I just thank y'all for joining the party. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be a radical group of people that can't nobody stop us. You know, nobody. You're going to defy the odds of everything that the world spoke against you. I'm seeing miracles take place in this room each and every day, all because we stood flat-footed on the word of God. Don't let nobody judge you. Don't let nobody put you in a heaven or a hell. You know, don't deflate yourself either. Don't make yourself be higher than what you ought to be. You know, come down on a on a plane where you don't, don't be trying to get ahead of God with stuff. You know, he's a jealous God, y'all. And he shall have no other God before you. Don't put your spouse before God. Don't put your money before God. Don't put your thoughts and your plans before God. Because he might come over here and toss it all over, you know. So, but um, I love what I do. I really, really do. I love the position that God is putting me in. And, and, uh, and I look forward to greater, greater things ahead. Uh, I want to stop and say thank you, Toya, 
uh, for such a magnificent job this morning. You always do so well. And I think I think so much of you, Toya. I wish you, you know, only knew, you know, how much uh, in my heart I pray for you each and every day. Not only just Toya, but I'm just speaking to her today. Uh, I pray for you each and every day. Uh, because I know God's got so much planned for your life, and I do not want you to get off track in any kind of way. I want you to stand on the promise. If the word of God says you can have it, know that you can have it. Confess it up out of your mouth, because you shall have whatsoever you say. Uh, all the other facilitators, Mrs. Nene, and Mrs. Nene and I had a good message with each other yesterday, and I'm so grateful. She reminds me always of the one that came back to say thank you. Every day, this is something I get from Nene, you know, and uh, Nene, I think that's going to go a very, very long way with you. I really appreciate it. Uh, Miss Kathy Mitchell, I will never forget your labor of love. Uh, your love for this ministry has proven itself to be so true. She's been with me almost since day one, y'all, and I'm I'm so eternally, eternally grateful uh, for it. I'll miss Felicia Johnson. If I were to say someone that has made the most significant um, improvement in this room, though everybody has, it would be Felicia Johnson. Why? Because that young lady, when she first came in the room, she didn't, have, she didn't even know how to open up her mic. <laughs> she she fought for weeks trying to learn how to open up her mic on the line. And then to think about how she's coming on, leaving the room in areas. And I have, I have seen the significant growth. Oh, my God, that has taken place with you. The boldness that has taken place with you. The humility that took place in you a couple of years ago, you know, with some decisions that you had to make. I'm, I'm eternally grateful. And then also Mrs. Regina. Oh my God, Regina. I think that, that, that that's her thing. She's, she's going to be the life of the party everywhere she goes. And, you know, and we receive her in such a way. I'm so glad she found us. I'm so glad she found us. Uh, her grief did not take as long y'all. Not saying that she's still not grieving the loss of her son, but it did not take as long as it would have if she was out there walking by herself. So I just want to say thank you. Mr. Marcus Wade, you know I love you from the bottom of my heart. You will always be my brother in the Lord. Uh, Miss Faith Davis, you know, we're going to rock it till the wheels fall off, girl. Oh, and Marcus, too. Uh, Mr. Harlan Bell, it's been an honor getting to know Harlan. This is my, even though I knew Harlan, where our grandparents are from the same uh, area, I didn't know Harlan. So it's been an honor uh, getting to know him over the past year or so. And the dedication that he has placed for coming into this room, I really do appreciate that, you know. And uh, Mr. Joe Williams, I'm so, so eternally great. And all of you, those of you that have played a part uh, throughout the year. Um, I want to say this before we break up into our breakout sessions. Um, I do have stuff for y'all to do during the summertime. I heard y'all talking about how we going to be away from each other and we are going to be away, but we're going to be together too. We got this thing, let's stay together, you know? So I put together some stuff that will help us to do that. And I hope you guys will enjoy each one of them, try to be a part of uh, the events as often as you can. And uh, let's continue to get to know each other and serve, uh, make room for the family to grow because it's probably going to triple over this time that we've been gone because I'm having a little bit more time to network. And uh, you guys are too, and we're all going to be growing together. So make room, spread your wings, and make room for other people to come into the room. And all those people you guys have been planting seeds on behalf of, you guys have been planting seeds into your futuristic thing. You didn't know how they were going to come in. Watch that seed how it grows this summer, this spring and summer. And uh, I just can't, I just can't tell it all, all the stuff that God has shown me. So um, we will share that once we come back out of the breakout sessions this morning. And I can't wait to, you know, uh, reveal those things to y'all. Amen. Amen. And thank you to everybody that's been sowing in the ministry. Your seed has not gone unnoticed, especially to God. He knows exactly what it was there for. Amen. Uh, so we're, we're going to get ready to go into our breakout sessions. And I'm going to ask. Mrs. Robin Boone, going to ask some new people this morning. Uh, Mrs. Robin Boone, and also, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm going to ask Mrs. Anita, not Anita Bell. We're going to ask the other Anita uh, to lead the room this morning. Don't jump out your seat, Anita. 
<laughs> but all you're doing is you guys are going in the room this morning. We could talk a little bit about the week and the lessons that we learned. <laughs> yes, uh, the lessons that we learned. And then also to get a chance to say your, you know, goodbyes for this particular season until we meet again. So again, that's going to be Robin Boone and Mrs. Anita Johnson. That's her name. So wake up, Anita, and get ready so the people can know that you do have a voice out there. So we're looking forward to it. Amen. Well, let's say a word of prayer. We're going to break off in the room. We'll be back in here. Let's come on back in about 6. Uh, let's see about 6.40, and then we'll close out the room at 7 o'clock this morning. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, Father, thank you you in advance in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. That's probably the quickest prayer I've never prayed in this room. <laughs> so let's get these breakout sessions going here. <laughs> let's see. Oh gosh. All right. Here we go. Make sure Miss Robin and Mrs. Um, Anita. All right. They're in a different room. I want to make sure Marcus and uh, Faith are in two different rooms so that they can help out. All right. They did it almost perfect this time. So let's go. Let's go. All right. You guys enjoy. All right. I see everybody coming back in the room now. I'm going to give all of our rooms time to close out. Um, yeah. Y'all are talkers more than y'all think y'all are. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Everybody's dropping back in the room now. Let's see. They got a couple of more people. Listen, look, y'all had some great conversations on this morning. Man, amen. All right, look like everybody's back in the room again. Want to welcome y'all once again. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed chatting with champions. That was a new little something that we added uh, to the Breakfast of Champions family, to the family. Uh, to where you guys can develop the social side of your skills. And, and listen, you put folks out there, they'll they'll do it. Uh, Mrs. Anita, I want to hear from you first of all. I know you were probably shaking in your boots over there. <laughs> you know I was. You know I was. I was just told the group, I said, I knew she was going to call my name. I just knew she was going to call my name. But um, I I enjoyed it. I I I kind of you know the the fear kind of subsided after I started talking. But yeah. um, we had a good conversation, and everyone was um, telling you know about you know how they're gonna miss the group, and then we even talked about um, the boundaries and you know and even with our children and and you know how you know talking to them about things. So we had a overall good conversation. Good deal. Good deal. I, I knew you could do it. Um I knew, <laughs> I, I knew you could do it. And and I I love how the leaders jump in and you know help push and promote y'all out there. We have got some top notch leaders in this room and I'm I'm so grateful for it. Yes um, we do. Amen. Amen. Well, I love it. Uh, who was the other person? Miss Robin Boo. Miss Robin Boo got thrown. Now, Miss Robin is used to talking though. So, Robin, how was your experience? Uh -uh. For uh -uh. <laughs> no, I I'm glad um Faith Faith stepped in, but thank you, Faith. <laughs> but um it was good. I really enjoyed it. And um we started out just kind of a couple of things about what we gleaned from this um the season of BOC and um, most recently it seemed like the every although everyone every leader brought uh, gems and jewels when we talked a lot about um, what faith brought yesterday and we talked a lot about how um, this room is actually changing the narrative among black women like we we you know, we just were trying to figure out what happened, where we were all for one and one for all. And then we it got into this individualistic thing where, you know, black women can't work together because we all trying to get to the top and, you know, bringing each other down. Um, and just how being in a room like this has helped us really, you know, encourage being a place of encouragement for one another. And um so it was really good. And then Felicia came on and she gave her thanks to everyone in the room. And that was such a blessing and encouragement how she lifted everyone based on whatever they did 
how they impacted her life. So that was good. It was good. Thank you. I, I want to say thanks to Faith again because I was getting ready for work. So it yeah. was helpful. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you for the opportunity. You're welcome. Hey, it teaches you how to flex and bend and, you know, um, all kinds of things. Y'all, I have been on calls when uh, one of the uh, facilitators, y'all, she was running in and out of the airport and but she kept that room moving, though. So I think where there's a will, there's a way. Uh, but I do agree this room has been a major, major change uh, in my world. Um, I think when I uh, created the space of getting up early in the morning, all I wanted people to do was get a chance to feel uh, what it was that, you know, God was doing in my life. And I think the all of the 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 major uh, things that took place with me took place because I learned how to get up early in the morning time because I was not a morning person at all. You know, I learned how to get up. And I do believe that's what David says that, um, you know, um, early in the morning to seek the Lord, you know, while he may be found. And he said he found him in the sanctuary. He found him in a quiet place. Uh, so I pray that this room has been a uh, great uh, benefit to all of you guys. And I pray that chatting with champions has helped you guys to kind of stretch to the limits. No recordings were taking place in the room. So you guys were able to be open and be free with your conversations. And I'm glad that, you know, uh, the space has been made available for that. Marcus and Faith, uh, thank you all for stepping in the room. They, they Listen, y'all, we kicked it off with them leading the discussions. And then eventually we switched it over to where y'all start leading the discussion. You know, all they're coming in is to do is show you guys a roadmap on, you know, what it's like to kind of step out in the open. But y'all caught on fire uh, real quick. So I'm really um, happy to see that. Uh, well, I know we're going to be limited on time this morning. So I want to go ahead and share with you guys what's going to be taking place during the break. When we are away, you may want to um, you you know you may want to take some snapshots of these uh, powerpoints that I'm going to show to you, but you don't have to because I'm going to actually send it out to everyone. Uh, so let me go ahead and get this uh, prepped up here so you guys can see it uh, really good. Uh, for those of you that are um, just now uh, seeing, you know, the break time we're having, we're actually going to take a summer and I'm mean, y'all. I got that switched up. It's a spring and a summer break. Uh, May 6th through September 30th. I heard uh, Latoya say, we've never taken a break this long and we have not ever done it this long before, but I think it's very needful and it's gonna be very beneficial to us all. Uh, first thing that I want to kind of um, share with you guys is that the replays are available. I think Mrs. Faith made mention of that this morning. You can go out to Maryland Denise Coaching Service and all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. And if anything is uploaded or, you know, just keep it in your, um, you know, your saved uh, menu. Uh, but if anything is uploaded, you know, when you subscribe, it'll come directly to you as a notification. So know that all of the replays are out there. Uh, third things, we want to make sure that you reach out when you need help. Remember, we have our VOC Networking Family Messenger page uh, on, um, on Messenger, which is a part of Facebook. We're going to use that to stay connected with each other as often as we can. Uh, I want you guys to really, really uh, use it as an encouragement page, not necessarily an advertisement page, but use it as an encouragement page while we are out and, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, doing uh, different things out there. Um, the next thing we're going to uh, talk about is Thursday night. We're 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 changing the name Thursday night live. Uh, that's exactly what it is in that room. Um, we have kind of moved out of that single space in there because we have more than single people that are in the room. So it's actually going to be what we call family focus night as well. So continue to join us each Thursday night at seven o'clock p.m. Uh, you guys will probably get an email that comes directly from Constant Contact. Uh, and if there are any changes, you guys will uh, see that as well. But remember that the links are all the same for anything that you join in with. But be sure to join us for our Thursday night times together. This is a great one that we're going to do. Way to stay together. We're going to do a summer and uh, a summer luncheon and movie. I don't know about y'all, but Bad Boys is coming back out, y'all. They're coming out with uh, Bad Boy 4, I think, is Ride or Die. And I got a chance to see the preview of it the other night. So uh, the other day at the movies, and I think this will be a great way for us to kind of connect back together. We're going to do that here in the city of Dallas, Texas, in Arlington, Texas, for those of you that are able to, to 
uh, travel, the, especially the people that are in East Texas or whatever, you guys can travel actually to the Dallas area. We're going to do a luncheon at the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, that will be the one in Arlington, Texas. And then we'll also go to the movies that they're there in Arlington. You guys will get more information on that. So be sure to keep that date uh, connected to you somewhere close. But that's going to be our team, not our team, but our group luncheon uh, for those of you that would like to join in with us there. Uh, the next thing is, remember, we got our college scholarship giveaway. The winner will be announced on June the 15th. Application, applications are going to be accepted May the 11th through the 31st. Uh, remember, we're starting off with individuals that are actually in the room. If you have a graduating senior, uh, we want to choose them first uh, within the room here. Or if you have a, um, a, a child that's still in college, that will be second. If we don't have any people graduating in the room, if someone's already in college, we're going to be doing that college giveaway to them. That is going to be June the 15th. Remember, you still can give uh, to that particular event, and uh, you will find ways through the constant contact on how to go about uh, giving. And then we're also going to continue to keep giving this morning so that we can contribute toward the scholarship as well. Uh, next thing that we're going to be doing, listen, we're going to come back with Chatting with Champions. Uh, it's a family affair radio show. We have not had our radio show in a long time. Uh, so I've scheduled some time, July the 13th, uh, to where we're going to come from 10 to uh, from 10 to 12 o'clock noon. And when we say chatting with champions, we're going to be bringing new networking individual people coming in uh, to kind of share from their particular uh, areas of expertise. I want people to come in uh, with mental health awareness. Uh, I want to come in and, and talk to our pastors and leaders out there. Uh, I want to come in and talk about, in uh, uh, I want individuals to kind of talk about entrepreneurship. So it is going to be a multifaceted uh, conversation that's going to take place with It's a Family Affair radio show. Those things will be live via Facebook. Uh, there will be a Zoom page that's going to be open for those of you that want to come within the room to actually be a part of it. But we also will be uh, airing that live uh, via Facebook. So we want you guys to stay connected. Remember to uh, just grab that date there. Uh, the next thing is, listen, we're coming back with our family focus group. And we're going back to Tyler, Texas for this particular one. We got it called September Pillow Talk and Family Focus. You can kind of look at it in Girl Talk just a little bit, but it's men and other leaders that's going to be a part of it. So I want to invite you guys in. We're going to go to Lego Del Pina, Pina in Tyler, Texas, which is a beautiful, beautiful setting out there from 12 noon until 3 o'clock p.m. That's September the 21st. That'll be before we actually come back. Uh, into our regular engagements here. Uh, so I want you guys to keep that date. And then last but not least, I don't think it got posted up on there. So let me grab it. Um, not sure what happened that I didn't get it on. There we go. Here it is here. So let me see. Let me grab this here. This is for our ladies. Uh, for those of you that have been wondering, are we going to go on our women's trip? Yes, we are. We're going to actually go back to Broken Bow, October the 24th through the 27th. For those of you that have never been a part of our retreats, uh, this is going to be the time to where you can actually get away. This is what we call our fall detox, uh, a women's fall detox retreat that is going to be taking place October the 24th through the 27th at Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Registration will not open up until February the 15th, and it will cut off on September the 1st because we do have to have everything solidified uh, possibly within 30 days. They normally will work with me on that, but within 30 days. So we will be doing our retreat for those of you that would like to go uh, for this particular one. So look for updates on that to take place um, during the uh, summer months. So um, just wanted to share with you guys, there are multiple ways to where you can stay connected within this ministry. Uh, you can stay connected to a lot of things that we're doing. We are still a growing family. Uh, we come back, we're going to be up under the name Ultimate Connections. I have decided to put that back into place uh, because I have to separate the uh, outreach ministry uh, from the private business as well. And uh, I want you guys to come on and be a part of it. 
Uh, we're doing some excellent things within this ministry. I think God has given me one of the greatest, greatest callings, you know, to lead and to multiply. I am what you call a connector. I love to connect people together. I love to go get people that have resources of, of things that we need so that we can grow. You know, I've often heard that a lot of times, even in mostly in the African-American community, uh, that a lot of times we were not always able to leverage up the way that we needed to because we didn't always have the resources that some of the other people had. I beg to differ. I believe as a child of God, anything that belonged to my father, he said that he owned cattle on a thousand hills and everything that's hills belonged to us too. But somebody got to go out there to get it. I thank God for the ability to be able to reach people, connect with people and bring them in. All I have to do is get them to buy in to the program. And if it connects with the vision that they have, I normally don't have a problem with people coming in to be a part of what we have going on. Uh, so as I shared with you guys before, make room uh, for growth and advancement. All of you that are networkers out there, business owners, this is going to be a great time for you to definitely stay connected to the ministry because uh, there are going to be a lot of people coming in that have a lot of what you need, people that can help you with your marketing, uh, people that can help you through your growth tracks, you know, in life, whether it be um, your career track or uh, trying to get your business moving a little bit more. Y'all, I am I, I am one that thinks outside the box. Uh, I don't like to be limited to things that, you know, well, nobody's ever done this. That's why I do it because ain't nobody never done it, you know. Uh, so if the Lord places on my heart, I'm going to do exactly what the Lord says to do. And I'd love to bring you guys along with it. You know, I have enjoyed those of you that have been following us thus far. And I hope and pray that we get a chance to stay together as a family you know, and continue to keep growing and just know that everything that you guys do and everything you've ever done has been appreciated uh, within this room. So those are just a few of the announcements that will help us to stay connected. And I will remind you guys of these things as we go along. But one of the main things is remember Thursday nights, we will come back together for Thursday night live uh, so that we can have open conversation. Uh, it, is my, um, it is my heart's desire uh, that we begin to put more of the word of God in you guys. Uh, because to be honest, that's the only thing that's going to last. We can have a lot of thoughts, a lot of ideas. We can have a lot of experience that we have. But the only thing that's going to last is the word of God. And it is very important that, to me that you guys know the word, you know, and be able to stand upon the word of God. So we're going to be definitely doing more of the incorporating of that. Um, this is a holistic ministry. It's not a ch church, but we are a holistic ministry. And I do believe that the word of God, it is the final authority with everything that we do. So those of you that may be struggling in your walk or trying to get to know God a lot more, I want to invite you guys to come on in. Uh, be a part of this. these uh, great things that are taking place. Um, we want to, uh, even though we do uh, do things that, um, you know, uh, that are fun in, in nature, uh, we want to make sure we always keep a godly perspective, perspective in it so that we, our name is not taunted in any kind of way. So we all want to work, walk circumspectly with that. So uh, those are all the announcements that I have this morning. I'm not going to try to share a speech with y'all because I got plenty of stuff to share with y'all over the next couple of months. And I, I want to kind of save some of that stuff to that time. But I do want to open the room up for anybody that would like to uh, have any final words before we get ready to dismiss this morning and uh, go to our various destinations and um, enjoy the summer, uh, the spring and the summer. So anybody want to share anything before we get ready to dismiss on this morning? Anybody? Miss Shirley, yes, ma'am. I just want to say thank you to you, Merlin, for all that you uh, have done, doing, and going to do. I really appreciate all of that. And I've always said, you know, it got to be special for me to want to be in a room with somebody that I grew up with. Not that, you know, you was bad or anything, but, you know, when we grow up with people, we tend to not want to just listen too much to them and stuff. But I thank you for so, so much. And I thank everybody in the room. And I appreciate everybody in the room. And let me look for this person. Let me see. Marcus. Marcus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Harlem, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because y'all are guys. 
And I thank y'all for being in the room and not being ashamed to be in the room with us and help us and teach us. So again, I appreciate all of you guys. Faith, you know, I, it, it's just some of our faith I just love too. Felicia, it's, it's just so, and, and faith tone too. She just so, um, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, it's just how she do things and I just love it. And um, I just love you all. And we will be staying together some type of way. So love you. Everybody just be blessed. Thank you, Shirley. We appreciate you. Anybody else this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ladriba. Yes, ma'am. I'm like Miss Shirley. I thank you, Miss Merlin, because I you <laughs> you've just been such an encouragement to me. I'm about to cry. I'm sorry. But thank you so much. I have learned so much from you. How to slow down my thoughts, my actions, and you like a breath of fresh air to me too, because you're a mother to me. It's my mother-in-law because I lost my mom. But thank you. I'm not gonna cry. It's a happy <laughs> tears because I love you. I love you all as well. And I'm like Miss Shirley. Y'all, this is day in church. Life is so short and so precious. Let's just make a point to say hello and just say thank you or encouragement word. You know, go on the chat line, give a motivation or, or a scripture, something to encourage all of us. So thank you all, uh, the leaders. Thank you for making me laugh in the morning, cry. <laughs> You know, to tell y'all about, about me singing, I'm gonna do a video for y'all <laughs> so y'all can laugh. Please I don't know do a video, Ladriba, of your first day in that choir. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, but what I'm gonna do, I might just do a solo first. <laughs> Since y'all in, in my bathroom, trying for American Idol right here with y'all. That is funny. That is I funny. I come sure. I think I I come sure the last night. I said, sure I ain't gonna sing." <laughs> She's like, "Okay, baby." <laughs> Thank I do you, thank y'all for this. I do thank y'all. So we're going to stay in touch, y'all. And yes, I'm looking ma'am. forward to growing with you all for the rest of my life. So thank you. Man, I love that. I love it. Anybody else this morning? Thank you, Latreva. I just want to say that I appreciate this room. I appreciate you, Ms. Merrill. I thank you so much for all the encouraging words, the uplifting, the counseling, everything. And we will stay uh, in touch. And Dr. Marcus, I thank you and I appreciate you. And I want you to know that my baby was asleep the other morning. When, no, 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 no. She wasn't asleep. She was up and I couldn't get on the line. But anyway, I just enjoyed that. <laughs> Being on the line with you, Miss Robin, and I appreciate everyone that's on the line as well. Thank you all. Hey, and we man. will stay in touch. <laughs> Brad, thank you. She had to get you back. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm laughing at that. Yeah, I'm laughing at that. <laughs> 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 well, I appreciate you, lady, for allowing me. I'm able to come in the room. Uh, most definitely, it has been transformation for me as well, being transparent and being open and just willing to uh, listen and learn as well. And uh, it's just been, um, I guess, a new path of direction for us, learning a lot, probably put a lot of stuff in a book and try to continue to get my, my story, my life, and things like that out in the community so people can see the change happening and you connect with the right people and get away from just yourself, you know? And that's what we've been doing in these rooms here, making sure we just don't stay in our own zone, but get out of that comfort zone and maybe pour into others and allow others to pull back into us. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. We appreciate you. Anybody else this morning? Y'all, we're going to be back to September. <laughs> hey. Hey. Everybody. Good morning, Faye. Again, again. Um, I've enjoyed myself. Oh my goodness. I just love it. Um, I love uh, preparing and being able to pour and you all pour back into me. It's just been a wonderful, beautiful exchange of information, love and transparency of our lives that are so precious. And uh, I'm going to, you know, miss you guys in the morning. I'm going to even miss getting up sometimes, but, um, <laughs> you know, Marilyn, we used to do that early morning back in, what, 2015 and all yes. that, but I'm a little <laughs> older now. I'm a little older. <laughs> oh so God. I just need a little bit more rest. But um, one thing that I wish that, you know, everyone will not do is don't, don't be in isolation. No more isolation. Come out, blossom, be that butterfly and fly, spread your wings, be adaptable, be resilient, 
know what to say. Just take every little nugget that we went through these last months and, and be able to put it to use and see what God will do. Opportunities will come your way. So I love you guys and I'll see you all out there and what, what radio land, um, Facebook <laughs> land, Instagram land. We'll see each other and even in the flesh. So I love you guys. Thank you, Faith. Thank you. Anybody else this morning? These are bittersweet moments here. Good morning, it's Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. Uh, I just want to say thank you too. Uh, just kind of piggyback off of everybody and just uh, say how this room has opened me up, has allowed me to see myself, good or bad, and how to change, uh, work on everything that's inside of me, uh, just open my eyes up to a lot of different things. Um, you know, just talking to you in this room, talking to you in private sessions, talking to you in text, talking to you through voicemail <laughs> or in text, you know, because we do that a lot because, you know, you'd be driving and it's easier yeah. to do that than the, you know, text or whatever. But just throughout the day, just thinking about something that you said or something somebody said in this room and I'm glad that I can put my earpiece in at work and just go back and look at YouTube and, you know, watch the replays on the uh, sessions that we've uh, gone over, not just this season, but in past times. Go back to my notes. I've looked at my notes sometimes and I think, oh, I wrote that down. And, you know, and I go, oh, OK, you know, that's a good note. I'm going to keep that. And then sometimes I look at that and I go, Oh, yeah, we did talk about that, you know, and I got to work on that. Or did I work on that? You know, just keeping it in the forefront of my mind of, you know, what we've talked about. And we've we've covered so many things in this room over the years, not just church stuff, you know, not just stuff that I've got preached to about. You know, it's it's like the World Wide Web in here. You know, we've covered everything, everything. And just the people that I've met come and gone, you know, the people that sat in here, those that stayed, those that's come in here and those that left, those that come back, you know, just like you said, there's going to be some that has come and stayed. There's going to be some that come and can't stay, can't you know? Stay. So, yeah. yeah. It, you know, truth is hard to face when truth hurts and truth is truth. You know, you just mm -hmm. got to face it. So, when you face it and you work on it, then it helps you. But if you can't face it at that time, well, take your bite and you work, walk off, chew on that, come back and get you a little bit more, you know. So mm -hmm. I've just been chewing and chewing and spitting out and come back and chew a little bit more. So, But um, I'm going to keep chewing. So I'm going to be here because I, I need this room. I do. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, Miss Chick. Miss Marilyn, I just want to say hello. And uh, um, I want to also say that I'm sorry I didn't talk much this year. I was honest in saying that because I don't have to go to work as early. I wasn't rising up as early as some of the others. And so, <laughs> therefore, I wasn't awake and doing the things that um, I used to do in the class. But as the seasons change, and I've gone through this class, I think, uh, gosh, I've been with you well over a decade now, 11 yeah. and a half years, I believe. Uh, my life changed from the beginning of coming into this class when Kathy invited me in and a heartbreak all those years ago to get married and just sharing my life with you all. And now going through just family changes with my aunts and uncles getting older and having to step in and do some things with them. And so this has been just a season of growth with me, but nevertheless, I've never left um, being support to this group, uh, listening in and to the replays. A lot of times I listen in at my desk and make little comments because I really do miss being a part and speaking. So as we prepare and take this rest and go into September, I will, uh, I do plan to speak a little bit more on the subjects that we talk about and getting up and getting out of bed. So I just want to tell you all, I have enjoyed hearing your voices and just sharing your lives uh, with you all. It's, it's been an experience and such a joy to me from 
even the the singles group being able to join in in that uh, with Miss Faith and and um, all on that, Mr. Joe and all the people that I love. I'm just happy to be a part of this group. And like Kathy said, I plan to continue. We've been this long. We might as well just see it on out, Miss Marilyn. And <laughs> I love you all and all of my close friends that's already in the group. Um, I won't call names, but you know who you are. We'll stay in touch regardless. And I just want to say, Miss Marilyn, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because of this class, I do believe it brought about a change in my life, a change for uh, a, a better uh, life. And I, I just thank you and, and thank you all. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Chick. I appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Harlan, I see your mic is open. Hi, guys. Um, that's always a pleasure being here, you know, with you guys, um, all throughout the week. And remember guys, we're not going anywhere. We just, we'll be online, light it up on the chat or whatever. We just not be on the call. So we're not going anywhere. Um, but this is, uh, this opportunity for, you know, everyone to take what you've, uh, take what you've, uh, been given here, what you've, uh, gleaned what you've taken in the wisdom the all the nuggets and you now you 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 have more power you have more understanding and to be oldest and there, there's a saying that uh clothes closed mouths don't get fed and so when when you're getting nuggets and these now you have it now it's time for you to go share it uh, in your daily lives from home and then abroad. So right now, this is that time when we we all, we should be starting fires everywhere. And one of the type of fires I'm talking about should be sharing this wisdom with other people. And when we do return to our lines and things like that, maybe instead, it, maybe it'll have 100. Oh, we lost Harlan. Um, I'm quite sure he'll be back on in just a little bit. Amen. Uh, but before he does, I want I just want to say thank y'all for all of the comments that y'all are making. There he is, Mr. Harlan. Well, I lost the action. Can y'all hear yes. me? All right, we're here. Yes. Uh, so I just want to challenge everybody to uh, take all that you've been given, all that you've been sharing with us, and all that we've been sharing with each other. And um, let us, uh, you know, pour that into people because, you know, people, um, they they need it. And when we start you know, sharing and being transparent, you'll be surprised what people are willing to or may start asking you. And that allows you uh, to then, you know, pour into them. So uh, look for opportunities to be uh, who God has created you to be and just, you know, just keep lighting the world up. Amen. Thank you so much, Harlan. We appreciate that. Um, I echo all the sentiments here, all the comments, and uh, I pray that you guys will really, really, you know, uh, realize that this room is a treasure. It really is. I don't know what anybody else uh, is doing this time of morning. Are they getting fed? But this has been a lifesaver for me. And I appreciate you guys coming in to uh, join the family, you know, with me and also solidifying the dream uh, that God has given to me. And, you know, it's 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 a, um, an honor to uh, present uh, what it is that God has given to you. But it's even greater to see when people come and be a part of it, you know, uh, to come and see what God has done. So, um, again, we want to definitely welcome you guys to stay a part of it. I'm not going to be pushing anything like that we're just going to present it and um um you know if you want to be you know come to the diff different events come on in um i will be tapping y'all like i always do you know wake up get up you know what you doing out there what kind of fire you starting as harlan said you know and uh, i want y'all to live your best life whatever it is and uh, do it to the full you hear me do it to the full till it overflows in life because our God is a good God. Everything you can dream of, anything that you can, um, God put something deep in your heart. And, you know, it, if you can do it on your own, it probably didn't come from God. But if that thing seems bigger than you, yeah, that's probably a God dream that's there. So uh, we want to do that. But we're going to go ahead and close out this morning. And uh, anybody else, last call. Let anybody else this morning. Amen. Robin said, I truly count it a joy, a blessing to be a part of this family. I've learned so much in a room, and a room such as this is a great addition to my walk in life. 
and with God, I have opened up more than ever. Amen. We've seen that happen, Robin. We definitely have. Uh, anybody else? Last call. Anybody? Uh, it's me. Uh, this is Miss. Uh, this is Gail. I just want to say I am so thankful to be back home. <laughs> me I feel like too. <laughs> I feel like I'm back home, and I love it. And thank you so much, Miss Merlin, and everyone. I love everybody. And I tell you, I needed you guys through this period of my life, this season. And y'all have been there for me, whether you know it or not. And this room has truly blessed me and helped me walk through this season of life. So thank you so much. And I, like I say, I'm forever grateful that I'm back home. I, I just feel that so in my spirit. Um, I'm home. And thank y'all so much. Hey, man, we're so glad to have you back, Miss Gates. Mm -hmm. We are so glad. Uh, Y'all, don't forget that we do have our pillow, summer pillow talk that will be coming um, uh, September 21st. It'll be a great time for us to bring in, you know, new people to come and see what the ministry is all about and, you know, just come and feel the love that God has uh, for us all here. Uh, Miss Faith, I see your mic is open. Yeah, I wanted to share this little thing real quick. Um, someone sent this to me yesterday. It is never too late to reinvent yourself. Start a new career at 40. Fall in love at 50. Learn to dance at 60. Start a whole new life at 70. Stop saying you can. You can and you should. Dreams don't have an expiration date. Mm -hmm. Our dreams don't expire. They keep living. So I just wanted to share that. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, that's that's one of the great things about, um, you know, you get up this morning, you got another chance to do it again. You know, maybe you didn't do well in the years past, but as long as you got breath on this in your body, try it again. God can reinvent and recreate and do a whole lot of things. Don't never let me and tell you what you cannot do and put a muzzle over your mouth and different things like that. You know, get back to God. Y'all, I'm going to share this. We're going to get ready to close out. I was having dinner with my son last night and he is always, he is a jokester, period. So I was logging in on the line to get the, the uh, singles let's talk group going. And Marcus said, who is that, your sister circle? I said, we are no longer a sister circle, Mark. We are a family unit. So, you know, he just, you know, just, uh, you know, wanted to sing praises. He asked about Mark, you, Marcus, and want to know things well with you. And, you know, it's it's just good to have family that think about one another. So I'm just eternally, you know, grateful for it all. I'm looking forward to spending more time with the kids. Look like they need a little bit more, you know, motherly touch. We had, my son and I had, a wonderful, wonderful uh, time together uh, on last day. <laughs> yeah, he been calling that out there for years. We had a wonderful, wonder, wonderful conversation, adult conversation with each other on last night. And uh, he sent me a message and said, "Mom, I miss these times of of us sharing." I said, "Well, let's do it again. You know, let's make sure to set up some time and let's do it again." So I hope you guys will do the same thing. Uh, find a space in your heart to make room for your family members uh, to uh, bring the hearts and minds together. And remember that we are family and uh, we come together to make each other better in life, not to tear each other apart in any kind of way, but we come to make each other strong. Y'all pray for a mod. We're getting some good results uh, from this. I won't share too much of it, but keep praying for him. And, and y'all, he don't even seem like he worried about it, but I'm I'm grateful and I'm like, Lord, do that thing. You know, that's been my heart's desire anyway. I want him to be able to come home and enjoy life. He's, he's done the work, y'all. And I want him to come home and I want him to marry. I want them to have children. And I want him to be able to get a piece of this big old pie in God. But uh, he's doing great things. And, and God, you can tell God is moving on his behalf as well. So. Uh, but let's go ahead. We're going to do a final seed in our room this morning, uh, staying together. Uh, we've been using that scripture, Ephesians 3 and 20, now unto him that is able. And I want you guys to get that thing so deep in your heart, whatever it is that you are dreaming about, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. Though we're going to be absent from each other in the room here, the presence of God is still going to be with you, you know, and there are still some things that we all are praying on behalf of. 
and we're going to get that final seed on the ground. We're going to do it together, God. We're going to stay together. More than anything, we're going to stay with you. I'm not going to get over there and be whining and pouting about what didn't happen or whatever. I know the favor of God is resting over my life. We don't have to, you know, try to fight or push God to do anything. It's already a part of his plan to bless you guys. And once you just walk into alignment, if you, if you will obey what the Lord says, I think Deuteronomy 28, 27 or 28 says that if you will hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord and do all that he has commanded you to do, he said, all of these blessings shall come in and overtake. You're going to be blessed in the city. You're going to be blessed in the field. You're going to be blessed when you come. You're going to be blessed when you go. Everything about you is going to be blessed, but there is an act of obedience that's attached to it all. Everything that we're walking through, it's a personal walk. That's not anybody else's journey. That's a personal thing. And all we are supposed to do is lead people to Christ. That's all. The same way somebody somebody helped us to get to Christ. That's all we're going to do. And more than anything, we do it with our lifestyle. Let your life be a living epistle before people uh, to let them know that my God, he's able to do anything. I don't know what kind of God you serving out there, but my God, he's able to do anything. So don't try to come with me with, with what the Lord ain't going to do for me and all of that ain't God and all that kind of stuff. Listen, we talked about last night, don't be judging different things, especially when you don't understand the whole story. You may have came into the piece of the story, but you don't know the whole story. So now unto him that is able. Those of you that want to sell, you guys already know the links to go about doing that. But let's go ahead and get those seeds on the ground. Lord, I want to stay together. I want to be there, you know, uh, with this family here. And I want to be there with you guys. Y'all, I'm going to be traveling a lot this summer, but I will be connect. Y'all may not see me on Facebook, as much. I'm going to try to get my Instagram page going. I don't know how to do it, but I'm going to try to get that Instagram page going. Uh, I'm going to be connecting up with the Queen of Queens so that I can help them to get their ministry uh, really, really moving. I think they have the same vision that we have with Ultimate Connection, and this is going to be my gift to God to reset what he has done within me, bring a lot of those things back to remembrance. So I will be traveling with them this summer uh, to kind of catch the vision. I have a, a meeting with the, um, uh, with the, with the uh, founder of that this morning. So y'all be praying for pray that I don't get connected to nothing that God don't want me connected to. And don't get me too far strung out there to where I lose focus on what God called me to do. But I do want to help others get their ministries uploaded and uh, whatever it is that needs to be done. And then I'm going to start doing podcasting as well. I think it's finally time for me to go ahead and get that podcast going. And then like Marcus said, get in there and write some books uh, so that God can, you know, continue you to keep blessing the body of Christ. I pray that you guys will do the same thing. If you've never done anything out of the normal, out of the ordinary, do it. You need some help. Ask somebody, you know, hey, can you help us do this? Reach out to the leaders, to the coaches, whatever you need to do to help you to grow in this particular season. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, we are getting that last seed on the ground. I'm going to ask my brother. I don't know if he's busy this morning, but I have enjoyed my brother's prayers. And that is Mr. Marcus Wade. He has really, I think God has pushed him. I think he pushed that calling out of him, you know. And I want to uh, allow Marcus to give us our final prayer um, as we dismiss out of the room today. And um, just ask for the blessings of God to be all over us as we move forward. So, Mr. Marcus Wade, if you are available and able to do that, we would definitely appreciate it. Okay, yes, I can do that. Oh, it's been a blessing. Father God in heaven, we thank you for your your grace, mercy, your peace. We thank you for your long suffering with us, Lord God. We thank you for being a provider, provision for us throughout this time that we've been sharing and interacting, Lord, and growing, Lord God, it is broken down to be building our lives. Ever been for. We thank you for your spirit within us, Lord God, let me grow and radiate through our total being. Lord God, we send a blessing out on this family, Lord God, that's in this room, that is on the airways, that we listen to the calls as we go forward throughout the generations, Lord God, that, that their lives be blessed, that the anointing, Lord God, even precedes this very hour, Lord God, that it goes into the future, Lord God. We pray for families right now, Lord God, our healing, we're going through all type of disruptions. 
disruptions, Lord God, and transitions, Lord, we, we pray for healing and even restoration in the name of Jesus. We bless this 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 room, Lord God, that it, it grows as it rests, Lord God, that you continue to give it a heartbeat, Lord God, that will radiate to others that they may come in to be blessed as well and be able to invest as well through their spirit as well as through their emotional well-being. In Jesus' name, we thank you for all things. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Marcus. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful Friday and blessings to each one of you until we meet again in Jesus' name.